As midnight approached on the night of June the 5th, 1944, the German 7th Army in Normandy, incredibly, was oblivious of the mighty force heading its way. Some 5,000 ships and 150,000 men were launched across the English Channel for the Allies' long-awaited return to Europe to assemble such a massive build-up of men and supplies. Operation Overlord had taken months of careful planning and preparation. They sent one-man submarines to bring back cupfuls of sand from various French beaches for analysis. It had to be quick-drying, solid clay foundations, enough to support 30-ton tanks. It involved photographing countless fields in northern France, supplying arms and sabotage material in advance to the French underground. Then there was that strange contraption being put together. The only name it had was Mulberry. It was vital, too, to know all about the French tides and train men to negotiate those tides with landing craft, wearing German sea power down, detailed study of the weather patterns along the Normandy coast, miles of wire netting for the beaches. A 20-mile pipeline would be needed underwater to supply 7,000 tons of petrol every day, triple inoculations for everyone, new ships pouring from the stocks, old ships adapted, listening endlessly to German radio messages for the latest intelligence. That was just the start. <laughs> 